Hey guys, NeuroGal here. Today I've got something super exciting lined up. I'm gonna talk about dancing and how incredibly amazing it is for your brain. I'm going to tell you three reasons why dancing is good for the brain. But first of all, I have to tell you why I decided to talk about the neurological effects of dancing. I'm a dancer. I have been involved in dance since I was in college. I got to wondering why is it that humans are so attracted to dance? Why is it so inherent to the human condition? For me personally, it's such a great expression of my emotions. When I'm, when I'm sad, I dance. When I'm happy, I dance. When I want to connect with someone but I don't necessarily want to talk, I dance. I am posting a video of my first performance in a really, really long time that happened this past uh, weekend. I performed with my ladies dance team. So I'm gonna post a clip at the end of the video. Stay tuned to see if Neuro Gal falls flat on her face or has a successful performance. Anyways, back to the topic. Why is dancing good for the brain? Well, let me enlighten you. Number one, number one. It organizes and strengthens the brain. Music stimulates the reward centers of the brain, while dancing to music activates the motor and sensory and coordination regions of the brain. When we dance, different parts of our brain sync up and start communicating with each other. So dancing creates highly synchronous activity between different regions of the brain. Why is this important? Well, synchronicity reflects how well deeper structures in the brain communicate with the outer layer of the brain called the cortex. Synchronicity is linked to emotional and memory processes which are central to interpersonal social interaction and self-understanding. Number two. Two. Dancing can actually reverse aging in the brain. Multiple studies have found that dancing has anti-aging effects on the brain. One study found that older people who partake regularly in physical exercise can reverse signs of aging in the brain, but that dancing in particular had the most profound anti-aging effect. Why is that? Well, it's probably because when we learn a new dance routine, we have to exercise more parts of the brain than typical exercise. But first of all, we have to learn the steps. So we're activating the memory regions of the brain. Then we have to know how to coordinate our torso. Or if we're dancing with another person, we have to learn how to coordinate our movements with the other person. So that stimulates the sensory, motor, and coordination regions of the brain. In addition, we're usually pretty pumped and excited to listen to the song that we're dancing to. So that stimulates the reward centers and it boosts endorphin production throughout the brain. All of these activities involved in dancing are more complicated than just a simple weightlifting exercise or moving your legs on an elliptical or even running, which I do a lot of as well. Dancing has been found to improve certain aspects of brain function in people with neurological diseases, such as Parkinson's disease. In Parkinson's disease, dopamine producing neurons in the coordination and organization regions of the brain die off, which results in stiffness, tremors, impaired balance, and an inability to coordinate movements. Dance may be able to alleviate these symptoms. Tai Chi, which is considered a more structured, ritualized form of dance, has actually been shown in clinical trials to improve balance and prevent falls in people with Parkinson's disease. The social aspect of dancing, particularly dancing with a partner, also probably contributes to dancing's anti-aging effects on the brain because social interaction is associated with a decreased risk of dementia in older adults. So what is the third reason why dancing is so incredibly good for your brain? Dancing is associated with increased empathy and increased emotional intelligence. People who dance are less likely to suffer from something called alexithymia. It's just a fancy word that describes someone's inability to consciously feel or express what is going on in their bodies. So how can dancing improve your relationship with other people? When two people dance together, they coordinate their movements together. The leader must provide clear cues to the follower and the follower in return must sense and react to the subtle cues from the leader. 
That way they move in a coordinated fashion, which results in synchronization of brainwaves between the two people who are dancing. The synchronous behavior improves one's ability to connect with other people and empathize. So that's all I have, folks. Um, I guess I'll just have to show you my clip and you get to see whether I fall flat on my face or not. whole dance video will be in the description box below once I post it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it will inspire some people to get into dancing. I recommend salsa or bachata or hip hop or break dancing or whatever dancing in your bedroom. If you feel shitty, dance. If you feel sad, dance. If you feel happy, dance. It'll make you feel happier. All right. I gotta go. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more enlightening videos about the brain. Thank you for, for your support, for your encouragement, for your lovely comments. I hope you have as great of a day as you have given to me by subscribing. 